Hey guys, Mel the Train Shooter here with another tutorial for you. And in this tutorial, yeah, we're getting the materials together for my big Burma build. And we're creating sort of a turf scrub blend. Now a turf scrub blend is a mix of various flocks and follages that basically blend together and then you drop them down as a sort of a screen over your terrain. And it's far more realistic than the sort of layered flocking, foliage, and grass, static grass and etc. Now, I'm using specifically Jarvis Scenics products on this, yeah? They are my preferred range, yeah? If you've never heard of Jarvis before, it's a British company that's been going uh, decades. I mean, I remember getting this stuff as a kid. Uh, they produce a massive range of flocks and foliages, and I'm using the stuff from their premium range. Now, just to be clear, yeah, I have no affiliation with Jarvis whatsoever. I just like their products, you know? They've been around in Britain for ages, and I like supporting a British company. Yeah. So, their watch clip, let me move that into the camera. Their premium range comes in three distinct colours. Yeah, you've got the dark, the mid, and the light. Okay, and I know what you're thinking right now. You're going, wow, that's a hell of a contrast. Yeah, the way to think of these things is this is your base colour, and then this is your highlight, this is your shade. And when they're all put together, and then they're sealed with, with watered down PVA, which dampens them down and blends them in, and even a little bit of touch of washing with, you know, some washes, they look beautiful, they really do work well. But it's basically, you know, a base light and shade system. Okay, now specifically for this, this is my scrub and this is going to be going in in between my jungle bits and under trees and, you know, the darker areas. So I'm skipping these bits out, yeah, and I'll be just going for the dark one. In fact, I've got a dark one there already, yeah. So, first off, I'll be using their dark fine turf, sorry, coarse grass. They do have a finer one than this, and they do have thicker ones than this in this colour. I just don't have them at the minute. Yeah, so we've got their coarse grass. Yeah, on top of that, we've got, they do a wide range of uh, static grasses. And we've got their spring mix. Yeah, and the reason I went for their spring mix out of the static grasses, it's the darker out of all of them. The summer and the autumn are very quite light. Yeah, and they work well for like the dried out areas and that sort of thing on the on the Burma board, but for the deep jungle I want dark. Next up we've got some, what they call it foliage, but they call it tree foliage. Now they do this stuff at various different grades. Okay, and I really like it. It's a bit different to the normal sort of foam because it's it's flocked foam. Whereas with other clump foliage it is simply painted and it's just simply painted. You know, it's chop foam painted with paint mixed in. With this stuff, this has actually got the flock which matches these textures before, so it goes really well. And for that I've got two of the lights, yeah well two of the mids, sorry, I haven't got any of the light, I need to pick some up for, for the project, yeah. Um, one of the dark, in fact, is two of the lights too many? Yeah, let's bring one of those because I don't want it Mm, actually no, let's keep it in, see? This is what you go through when you're doing a, a watch clip, a flock mix, uh, a turf mix. It really is experimentation, trying to judge the idea of what you want. What I'm looking at here is mainly textures, because I know I'm going to be going in with washes and that sort of thing, and I'll be able to change, I'll be able to darken things up, I'll be able to line them if I want to with dry brush and etc. Yeah, but I'm looking at textures. Now for the final texture, yeah, I've got this. Now, this is one of their bulk bags of lichen. I've called it lichen. Lichen! It's called lichen! <laughs> now, I should say, it doesn't come. This is very scraggy stuff. It doesn't come like this. It actually comes, you know, let me just grab some of this. I'll just show you. It does actually come quite light and bushy, etc. where you get it. This is the remnants of the packs I've been using in the past. Okay, so it's dried out, it's all bitty, it's got all the, what you call it, seed pods in the back, these, let me see if I can find one for you. There you are, there's a good one. There you are, lichen seed pods. Yeah, it's got those in, but it's a wonderful texture. Okay, now if you want to replicate this with a new pack, all you've got to do is basically open the pack, get it out, rip it to lots of little bits, leave it in direct sunlight for a couple of days to age and dry out, and you'll get this effect. Now, first off, this is way too thick for what I want, yeah, and I don't want to use all of this, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to employ my blender. Now, the other essential thing you need is obviously something to mix it in. I've got a kitchen bowl, yeah. I've got the blender here, yeah, uh, 
And basically, all I'm going to do is first off blend this stuff down. So I'm going to throw a good couple of handfuls, about half the bag, because I want to save half the bag of my scraggy stuff. Trust me, I've got plenty more. Yeah. I'm liking my leching. Yeah, there you go. Dodgy cameras. Right, and then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop this up. This is just a, a £10 budget blender. Yeah, I got it with a, a voucher I got off the back of the shed. So, right, too much in there, way too much. I'm going to end up blending the bottom bit. Now, obviously, blenders, sharp things, watch your fingers, all the normal sort of... Yeah, and then what we're left with is, let me just throw it here, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, nice and soft, loads of wonderful textures. Now remember, you're probably saying, oh, that's a bit bright. Yeah, but remember the watered down PVA, remember the washes, guys. So I'm gonna blend up a little bit more of that and I'll come back once that's been done, guys. Right, guys, that's all blended up, and look at that. Isn't that lovely texture? Okay, and that's our fibrous texture in. Now what we need is our little, little bits of bumpy, little, clumpy bush sort of texture. Yeah, and for that, we go for our, our, what our tree foliage, our clump foliage. Now, obviously, you can use any clump foliage. You can use any brand you want, to be perfectly honest. Like I say, I'm just using these because they are my favourite and it's what I've got. Yeah. I mean, I really like this stuff because these, these bags are so cheap. Yeah, they're like £1.50 each, so you can get a good range of stuff for very little. Now, all I'm doing with this is exactly the same. I could break it with my fingers, but I want it really sort of chopped up and fine. So, let's throw these in. Right, that's all blended up now, and you can, as you can see, it's really chopped down those dark and the what you call it into, yeah, a sort of really fine mixture. Now it's all clumping together, yeah. It's statically attracted. I think I've charged it with static by putting it in the blender. Yeah, but when we pour it into our mix, we'll blend it all in, and it will be fine. Yeah. Right, we're starting to get the mix together now. Next job, start adding in our courses. Yeah, so in this case, we're going for one bag of the dark green course, because we want a nice dark green, because it's the middle of the, the jungle, it's the darker areas. Yeah, so there you have it. Look at that, that's a hell of a contrast, isn't it? When it's mixed in, it will provide shade. Yeah, and then finally, yeah, I wanna throw some of their spring static grass in. But like I say, it's a nice dark one, and the, the static grass fibers will tie in really well and give it another good texture. Yeah, because that's what this is all about. This is about texture and the shades. So, now, all I've got to do is start mixing. So, I'll be back in five minutes once I've mixed all this up, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Didn't notice the setting on the camera, and I couldn't do this again because I've only got so many of the materials. I this I've used everything I've got. Right, okay, just very quickly now we've got a really nice light. There's our scrub mix. Yeah, and that's what's gonna go in the deep undergrowth. And make it look all nice and realistic, etc. And I'll zoom in once again very quickly. Now, what I wanted to show you, yeah, is my watch clip, my my turf mix. Okay. Now that's thick scrub. This is going to be going places, you know, which are overgrown, etc. Now what I've got here, yeah, is my basic flock mix, my turf mix. Okay, and what this is, is it's virtually exactly the same, but it's two of the lighter shades fine turf, one of the dark coarse turfs, and one of the spring static grass mixes. Okay, and this will be going in the more clearing areas and towards the edges. 
Yeah, so this is where models will be able to stand on, etc. Yeah, and as you can see, when you mix these colours together, they work beautifully. They're so realistic. Yeah, so what I'm going to do now, very quickly, is once again, zoom the camera in just so you can get a nice, clean, close look at it. So here we have it, as you can see, it's lovely. It's got a bit of gradient to it. The way I achieved that is I actually pushed everything through a, a sieve. Yeah, <laughs> trust me, zoom up to show you that bit. But I pushed it all through a sieve just to take out the larger elements and I threw those in my course mix. Yeah, and the finer stuff, yeah, it's going to work great on edges and in clearings, etc. And then if I just slide it across, yeah, let's see how I did that. It's lovely. That's going to be nice course. And if you can imagine that, in between with the plastic plants, with a few bits of uh, lichen and a bit of clump foliage as well, it's going to look awesome. So there you go, guys. This is a simple video on tips to put together course, what you call it, course turf mixes, uh, shrub mixes, and blended static grass, splendid turfs. You know, the blended mixes, blending your, your, your flocks and your foliages. I have no idea what I'm going to call this video. You'll, you'll know before I do. <laughs> anyway, guys, yeah, as always, uh, like it if you've liked it. If you've got anything to add, any questions, anything like that, throw them in the comments, guys. I always answer my comments, yeah. If you've got any recommendations for request videos or any feedback on the technical stuff, sorry about the lighting earlier on. You know, I'm getting better, but I'm not perfect. Check, throw them in the, what you, the feedbacks video, yeah? And if you really like what I do, then, you know, consider throwing me a buck a month on Patreon and, you know, helping me out. But, as always, no pressure, you know, I'm going to continue doing this whether you do or you don't. Right, the only thing left to do now is, in prep of my Burma project, is to come up with some pro washes. So you'll see a video on that coming up soon, and then we'll get stuck into building Burma. Right, guys, you have a cracking day, and I'll see you soon. All the best. Ta-da.